Hi guys, it's Haley from Hey Bay Beauty. I've had my Instagram for forever and I'm finally getting around to making a YouTube channel. So here we go, wish me luck. So I'm here at work, so I already have foundation, eyebrows, and lipstick on. I just wiped off my eyes for you guys. I'm gonna show you how to do a, a dramatic, smoky gel liner for your girl's night out. <laughs> so to do this look, I'm gonna use gel eyeliner from MAC in Jet Black. It's my like all-time favorite. So I always start in the middle of my eye and work it out. Some people like to start at the with the wing, but that's way too much pressure for me. So I start in the middle. So for daytime looks, I usually don't do the inner corners of my eye, but since this is a more of like a smoky night out look, I'm gonna do the corners of my eye. Okay, so now I have the like basic, just regular eye liner on. I'm gonna go for the wing. So much pressure talking and doing this at the same time. I like to start at the base of my lash and try and connect it up to my eyebrow almost. To start, it kind of looks like another eyelash right now. And now I'm gonna go back and make the corner of my eye a little bit more dramatic. I'm just gonna bring it down so it's in a point so I can make it a point with the bottom. Okay, so now I made a point in the center. And I'm just gonna go back and do my waterline on the inside of my eye just so it doesn't look, I don't know why I do it, I just do it, so. <laughs> but for the bottom, for sure, get the lash line. And then from there, I'm gonna bring it down to the bottom, connect it with the other side. And don't feel like, too much pressure to make it perfect because the point of this is to make it super smoky. So we're actually gonna go over all of it with eyeliner, not eyeliner. We're gonna go over it all with black shadow. So this is just like kind of telling us where we're gonna put the shadow. This is just with the gel liner. Again, it's from MAC in Jet Black. And I did regular liner, I did my wing, I did my waterline, and I pointed it to the center. So let's get to this other eye. So I like to actually like point mine down a little. I think it's more natural with the way your eye goes. And then I'm just gonna connect the bottom liner with it. So another thing that's super important that I always do with eyeliner, especially when I'm putting it on the bottom, is I come back and fill in my waterline. Just cause it makes it a little bit more smoky. And right now we're not going for perfection because we're just going to go over all of this with black shadow and smoke it out. So now I'm going to take this little guy and I'm using this black, black, black shadow from my Morphe palette. And all I'm going to do is go over the very top.
Now the bottom. I really like to make this bottom part flow with the wing just so it's like blended a little bit better. So we just smoked out this eye, got significantly thicker. Now I'm just going to take this brush and kind of like blend it down. So like you can see, I only smoked to about the middle of my eye because we want the, the inner corner to still be structured. We still want it to be at a point. And then the bottom I got crazy. So now I'm just gonna cake my eyelashes. I have eyelash extensions, so I don't put I don't put fake eyelash strips on. Just cake these guys up. So now, since this is so dramatic, I'm not gonna go with like a huge big contour. I'm just gonna use my Anastasia palette. It's the sun dipped one. Yeah, so I'm gonna use this kind. I think it's tourmaline. I'm just gonna put this on as blush. Then I'm gonna come in because of course we need a highlight. You can never have enough highlight. So I'm using the summer gold one. I'm just gonna put this right here. And put this on my brow bone. And the inner corners of my eyes. So also, since we went with the super dramatic eye, I'm not going to do like a red lip or like a dark lip. I'm just going to keep it with this natural nude lip. And I think we're done.